Hello, welcome to week four. Last week, we started talking about relationships between variables and how we can use them. We've looked at relationships between numeric and categorical variables, between categorical and categorical variables, and then we began on relationships between numeric variables. Our last video stressed looking at scatter plots in terms of trends, scatter and outliers, and using these ideas to make predictions. Your practical experiences with trend curves involve drawing them on scatter plots by eye, thinking in terms of vertical strips and ensuring your trend was going through the centre, vertically, of the points. We'll now move on to using the computer to add trends and ways of overcoming perceptual problems people experience when looking at scatter plots. These problems are most serious with large data sets. We'll also learn ways of incorporating more information in the pursuit of deeper insights. We'll be able to include information on up to six variables at once. Finally, we'll put all of this to use in discovering patterns in health and wealth across the world over time using the Gapminder data. All the best for week four. I hope you'll find it informative and enjoyable.